Wines are at Mays Valley Farm Market and Winery. And what you're seeing is we're sitting up on top of, uh, or inside the cab of our Hagee. It's a high boy sprayer. I'm sitting approximately well, about eight feet off the ground here. And this sprayer is designed to go down row crops, does a lot of post-emergence work or after the crop is already up and emerged. We use it a lot for our sweet corn fields uh, because when you're spraying for earworm, you do that, as I mentioned in previous videos, after the uh, tassel has emerged and the, and the ear is silking, and the earworm is trying to lay its eggs on that silk. So you go over the top and spray, but we, we use it also for doing pumpkins, and that's what I'm doing today. And it goes over the top, and what I'm doing is putting down a fungicide. One of them is uh, actually sodium bicarbonate. It's a common feed grade sodium bicarbonate, just like you feed to dairy cattle. And our product is called Bravo, and it has a residual. The one that kind of knocks down the powdery mildew and all the other fungus that are growing out there, and the other one kind of keeps it from growing again, and that gives you about, oh, I think, I'd look at the withholding period for the residual, but it's about two weeks anyhow, depending on how much rainfall you have. I have a pumpkin patch update. We're clearing the back part of the patch, and it's getting overtaken by weeds now. What we had here was a situation where it started out really, really good. We had great weed control to begin the year. It was a no-till field. The downside was it was in the soybean stubble, not rye stubble like we like to. We weren't able to get this field planted to rye last fall like we wanted to. We have these fields in rotation for you pick operations for people to come. But you can only put pumpkins in a one field or location once every three, year, three years to, in order to break the disease cycle. So well, we're having a late season breakthrough of lamb's quarters is what we boiled down to because we didn't have the soil very well covered. The product that we put out early only lasts so long. It got very, very dry out. The pumpkins didn't grow rapidly enough to cover the ground. The chemical that's out there and the sunlight gets broken down and the weed seeds are there. We had a perfect storm. We got about four inches of rain on the field and the lamb's quarters said, hey, it's time to party and they took off. So I'm kind of working this field through a combination of uh, mowing and hand spraying and, and some things like that to try and give the pumpkins a fighting chance. But today we're spraying for fungus. There's a fungus among us in the pumpkin patches among us. And here, you can ride along. We'll take off and go here. I used to do a custom application when we had the bigger business hog. Uh, I was a certified crop advisor and custom applicator, and so I used to run this sprayer all over the county, spraying for other farmers. It's a 1995 Hagee. It's a great farm sprayer, but it's no longer viable. It's got too many hours on it to be a commercial unit anymore. So it more than meets our needs, and it's really handy for doing some of this specialized work. I used to sit in this sprayer for 10, 12, 14 hours a day back when we had the other business. Occasionally help out my father-in-law getting out here doing things like spraying the pumpkins. And those are lamb's quarters you see coming up there. We have pumpkins and lamb's quarters, and uh, not looking real pretty out here. I'm not real proud of this, but like I say, I'd show you this pumpkin patch, warts and all, throughout the season. inches of the ground and I pull them back up and I do that depending upon uh, crop height and other conditions. Right here this part of the field didn't grow very well at all. On June 26 there's a video shot of these lamb squirters and they're about I don't know three four inches tall. A lot of them in about a nine day time period grew almost three feet. I was in here Saturday, actually with a mini little lawnmower I bought, going down the rows because the pumpkins haven't fined out enough yet. And I was able to do that. When you're doing this, you just run over pumpkins and establish uh, a path and then stick to it the rest of the year. My foam marker ran out of foam, or you can see my foamer working there. But the rows you see in front of you, or where I mowed, that shouldn't be there. It should be pumpkins covering those areas, but as I mentioned, it got too dry. They just sat still for the longest time. And it allowed for the weeds to come on, and I have some ideas yet how to get that done yet. I think it's gonna involve something called a real quick map applicator. Stick to a straight line here. My wheels line up 
between rows and hope I don't hit too many pumpkins. So once again, Bill Back and the Fun Czar from Mays Valley Farm Market Winery out in the pumpkin patch. Thank you for stopping by.